Where is the strongest growth for you ac across the world? You know, when you look at, we had a really solid set of results last year. Group Rev Par was up uh, two and a half percent, and our net system size growth was up four point eight percent, which is our best results in a decade, effectively. We were signing and opening more hotels than in a decade ago, which is pretty extraordinary. You think the fact that we were opening uh, one hotel a day almost and signing two hotels a day, that sort of underlying profit up 6 percent, our dividend up by 10 percent, falling on from the $500 million special dividend that we just paid last month. So strong set of results on a global basis, underpinned by the strategic initiatives we laid out a year ago to take cost out of this business, make us a more agile business, strengthening our existing brands, create new brands and acquire new brands. And as you noted, we did an acquisition last week of Six Senses Hotels and Resorts, which is based uh, principally in Asia. And so we're seeing great growth across the world, um, growing our existing brands and launching and, and buying new brands. Keith, good morning and great to see you. I'm hearing the emphasis on growth. I heard what you said on the special dividend. You also mentioned acquisitions. So let me ask, what kind of holes are you trying to fill through acquisitions? Which segments of the market do you find most interesting? Sure. I mean, a year ago, we laid out a set of strategic initiatives that said there were some gaps in our brand portfolio that we were going to tackle. So we launched some brands in the mainstream segment. So Avid Hotels in the U.S. 18 months ago. We now have 172 hotels signed. We launched the Voco hotel brand in the upscale space across uh, Europe into Asia. Already have 16 hotels, um, some open in Australia and the UK. Um, really excited about launching another uh, up, sort of a mainstream, upper mid-scale, all suites brand in the U.S., which we've just announced today, which will come out to the market later on in the year. So we're very focused at using our consumer insight to target large pools of demand that are being not met by brands for our customers and for our owners. Those are the organic approaches. Then, of course, the inorganic approaches are in markets where we think that acquiring companies or brands is the best way to go. So earlier uh, last year, we acquired the region hotel brand at the top end of luxury uh, and have already signed hotels in Kuala Lumpur and in Bali and in Chengdu. And of course, we've just acquired Six Senses, which has uh, 16 amazing resorts and incredible destination, 18 under construction and more than 50 deals in, in discussion right now. So uh, really excited to see how the brand portfolio has evolved very quickly over the last year. I can just imagine there. She's on her way to a Six Senses spa as we speak. Um, I had Mandarin Oriental CEO here with me yesterday, opening new businesses here in, in Dubai. You and I got together. You have the ambition. You said, I want to grow my business in this region by 25%, and a lot of it in Saudi Arabia. Post Khashoggi, post the killing of Jamal Khashoggi, have you changed any of your investment plans in Saudi Arabia? Are you sticking to your guns and saying, yeah, I want to grow my number of rooms down here by the number I told you the last time I was with you? Yeah, we've worked in, in the Middle East for a number of years, have been in Saudi for over 40 years, have longstanding relationships there, and we're encouraged by the, the vision for how tourism will grow and open up the kingdom going forward. So there's some amazing projects in the Red Sea that are being developed right now in a NEOM project and so forth. So we're looking to participate in those because we truly believe that tourism does help open up countries and that travel connects people. And so we've been involved in, in Saudi Arabia for 40 years and continue to stay involved there, connecting customers and guests as they travel both internationally and internally.